What you're looking at here are two pools that were designed and built by, uh, they were designed by Jeffress Felix of Emerald Design. They were built by five brothers from Castle Brews, Jeffers, Paulus, Mikey, uh, Rudo, and Eli. These brothers came down and we had one of the most fun loving times you could ever imagine. What we have here is two large hot water pools. In all actuality, what you have here is liquid radiation. When a volcano does not explode, it gives you minerals, very, very, very rich minerals. These pools are hot, hot, hot. I mean, that's what radiation is, heat, heat, heat. These pools full of volcanic ash, hot lava, black mud. You'll see me pull up some leaves, very silky, silky linton uh, mud, just, just wonderful. Uh, these waters are so hot that fibroid tumors, prostate uh, cis problems, they cannot thrive in this water, they cannot live. If a person, if I was sick and I had one of those disorders, I would go there and I would bathe every day before I went back to my doctor. And you would see in your x-rays this stuff shrinking and possibly even dissolve because you can drink some of this water. All of the waters we go to, you can drink some. At the moment, what I'm doing is cleaning these pools. I want you all to know these pools are up above Forest Bistro in Sofria. Mayan is a very old place in Sofria. Many people know about it. Many people bathe there. There have been pools there at different times, but not pools as wonderful as this. This pool you can stretch completely out, uh, do yoga poses. You know, your kidneys is where you get rid of waste. Your bowels is where you get rid of food. So when you put your kidneys down in hot water like this, it's going to cause you to sweat and draw out the toxins from the uric acid, from eating too much meat, from sugar, from sodas. It pulls all of those toxins out. This water is so heavenly, reduces the stress so well. In the United States, we would pay minimum, just for a bath in here, we would pay minimum 20 US dollars, possibly 30 where you go. This area is completely serene, so very sacred. All types of wonderful, wonderful greenery up there. Hopefully we'll get a shot and you'll just see how fabulous. Now I have one of the camera crew cool people feeling. That, that mud is so soft and silky. I mean, you just won't believe what your body feels like when you leave from up there. The stress just goes away, skin, any chicken pops, mosquito bites, all of it. It just, it just vanishes from up there. I mean, I've been mud bathing for 20 odd years and I always do it inside. We pay minimum these days $100 US dollars for mud bathing. When I first started, it was at $14. It is now up to $100. It's $14 two decades ago. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and now it's up to 100. I mean, it really, really moved, but it's well worth it. If you spent $100 a week on stress reduction, you would be so productive, so creative, so strong and wise. You would not regret it in one way. Um, there are five different temperatures of water up there. This little bamboo where you see behind my head, that was all they had up there originally. And during certain times, like this time of the year, it dries out. But we have five different temperatures up there. That one, what I'm touching now, is the hottest. The one that, the little one up there behind my head was the coolest, and it's warm. Mm -hmm. And that one coming out of the bamboo is very hot. Paulus built this bamboo. These brothers was just having a ball out, outdoors in nature. When you put it on your skin there now? That is hot lava. Okay. Hot lava, again, goes in, heals any type of little bumps or skin disorders. And I don't know yet what all the minerals are in that lava. I'm, again, I have a brother in Los Angeles, City University, that I'm communicating with, that I'm hoping that he's going to get this information to me. As a matter of fact, I did get an email from him yesterday, and he said that his research people are getting that information to me. So I'm very pleased about that, because I've been wanting to know a long time, why is it so therapeutic? This particular mud that I'm putting on the face is a black mud that is 
so beautiful. It turns from very bright red to dark brown and then black. And when you go out in the sun after that, I have a formula for the Los Angeles girls and the New York girls. They will put that on, lay out in the sun in Los Angeles or New York for 30 minutes and then go in front of the camera as if they'd been in the tropics for two weeks. That is like the bomb formula. The one I just pulled out then was cellulite formula. There is the different color clays in there work different, uh, different parts of the body. Because I've been working in spas for 10, 15 years, I know the different muds. But because I've been mud bathing myself for 25 years, I'm very clear on how they um, combine them with other natural resources to give you everything you need. This is just so soothing. Your skin actually feels like a baby skin. Pulls out every type of uh, bad food, bad drinks, stress. We have just ignored these places. Let me tell you now, with what New York went through during 9-11, this would sell big time in terms of stress reduction for people. Not only that, the um, people who cannot go to Israel now for sacred bathing, Mr. Linton, they would absolutely adore coming to Dominica. Again, the only thing that's different between these waters and those is that Paul didn't part the waters. But actually, their waters may not be as rich as theirs. I recently saw on CNN that uh, Oprah have bought a volcano in Hawaii, which means she may be getting ready to develop some of these formulas. You know, the uh, United States right now, probably the spas places are not receiving mud from Israel right now. They're in war. It's going to be hard to really meet the supply and demand during war. Dominica, if you go into the boiling lake, there are so many different muds, so many different waters that will sell big time. We have about four different muds just right in there. And actually, that we're gonna build a third pool we're looking at down below there, which will be a little cooler. Some of these pools are a bit hot for Dominica. They say, look, we, you know, Dominicans are used to cooler water, but this water here is like very, very hot. But you sit on the side and you splash the water on you until you become used to it, and then you have absolutely no problem. The one thing that's extremely important is that you do wear white cotton there. Because if you wear colored bathing suits or nylon or spandex, you're getting, you can send dyes into your body because the water's so hot, and you can also send the uh, materials from the unnatural fabrics. So you really want to wear your white cotton in there. All right. So the possibilities are endless in terms the of The possibilities what? are endless. Let me tell you, these brothers, Mr. Linton, had this place fabulous. They had planted herbs around there. When we were in the water, we could take uh, uh, oregano or thyme and just put it in your mouth and you get that fresh minty flavor. We had mint there. They had flowers they bought from the northeast part of the island down and they had planted it all around. But it really takes a lot to keep the ground. So we need forestry, Mr. Williams. We need you guys to come on in there and really develop that. Develop the hike so that the older people can make it up there. It's wonderful. We don't want to take the ruggedness out of it, but we want everything everybody to be able to come up there. I'm telling you, your eczema, you don't want to get in this pool if you have eczema because other people get in there. But you want to splash the water on you, you want to put the muds on you, you want to be considerate, but it's also wonderful up there when it rains. Oh. Okay. It is just wonderful. The cool water just cools you off from the rain. You sit on the rock, you just have a meditation time. You know, they spell on, on the pyramid and tomb, the walls of the temples and tombs and the pyramids in Egypt, they spell God, N-T-R, which is nature. What well, are you eating? You're eating and, and bathing this, yourself at the same time? Yes. In all the spas in California and New York that are natural spas, you eat the papaya as you put it on your face. You eat the mango as you put it on your face. This is Forest Bistro. This is Andres Charles's place. It's right above 
forest be a uh, Mayan. So you just come down, you stop, you, he'll make you organic dinner, Is lunch. Aloe vera? That's aloe. Aloe gives you that extra glow. And you take aloe up there in case you get a mosquito bite or an ant bite. It works perfectly in stopping the itching. But it's a one oh now this place. This is on the other side of the Sulphur Springs. Most of you are familiar with the big pool down there, but this is the world's greatest massager. This is a bamboo sulfur massager. It massages every part of the body. It is so wonderful. The water here is warm again. This is your reflexology. You put your foot up and you massage every part of your foot. In Nature's Signature, I teach them Reflexology. That, yes. There are okay. nerve the endings to every organ in the body. Okay. All right. And there's your neck and shoulder. That pain of that stress, there it goes. In five minutes, it's all gone. I mean, you'll go back to work. You'll go home. you have a wonderful night's sleep. People won't hear that you snoring. You won't keep yourself awoke snoring because that organic sulfur and drink them out two or three mouthfuls. Now, this particular red mud, that sulfur mud, that is gorgeous. I mean... Sometimes I can't stand to look at myself after I use that. I mean, you just walk out into the sun and you are absolutely beautiful. Those of you that have Carib uh, blood or Native American blood, it really brings out that redness also. You just really look great. So we have all these muds. Right in so free. Muds that are going for $50 a four ounce pack. And probably ours could go for more than that. Because it's so much more healing. Right, so uh, we need to... That's a cellulite treatment there. You take that mud, you put it on, and then you put your leg up underneath the waterfall, and it just beats. Now you just lay down and rest. The same place, just lay down and relax and just... You know, enjoy yourself. This is so therapeutic. You can do these baths before work. There's generally no lines. Where if you were in the United States, there would be lines. You can do this at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Matter of fact, I tell people, big businessmen have their meetings at spas. This is heaven. We're at the sea. Now, this is really mystical. In the sea, you have hot, hot water, hot sand, hot rocks. Hot sand, hot rock therapy in the United States is a big, big seller. Again, you're reducing your cysts, you're reducing your stress, your tumors, your skin problems. And right behind the rocks, and let me tell you, uh, Baba was the first person in Sofria to build this. This is a crippled brother who uh, allowed himself to, taught himself to walk again after bathing in these waters. But also, this particular pool was built by Officer Ken Bellet and um, Judah. They built this recently. Uh, they made it larger and stronger. And we're just having a ball with all of these waters. What are you, do, what are you, doing, what are you doing with the sand? I'm putting it on. I'm showing people if you have a problem with your knee, if your ankles are swollen, if your feet are hurting, you put the hot rock, the hot sand on those areas, and it immediately eliminates the pain. And that's kelp. This kelp is rich in over 30 different minerals. If you have a thyroid problem, kelp is wonderful for it. It's much better to use this kelp as table salt as opposed to white iodine salt. White iodine salt is the number two drug in the world with white sugar being the number one drug. But this this you season your meats with, season your uh, soups with, put it in your salads, dry it out. It is just absolutely wonderful. Women use it for weight control, to lose weight. It's, it's as wonderful, I wouldn't say as wonderful as spirulina, but there are over 10,000 different sea algaes and they are really, really wonderful. It is much more to sea algae than the wonderful moss that we are using here. All right. Uh, 